Are you tempted by the idea of retiring at 30 and finally having enough money to purchase your 420 acres of land on Mars? If yes, then startups are the way to go. But if you're still figuring whether startups are meant for you and how you could meaningly contribute to one, then you've come to the right place. Hi folks and welcome back to Stoa School. I am Raj Kunkolinkar and in this video, I will be telling you about the major roles that exist in a startup and also what they entail. I'd also recommend you to check out our last video wherein we discussed the roles of product manager, project manager, and operations manager. In this video, I will continue talking about important roles in a startup such as founder's office, customer success manager, content marketer, and performance marketer in order to help you pick the right one as you start off your career in startups. Let's roll. Role number one, Founder's Office. As the name suggests, you will be working out of the Founder's Office. And no, you will not be the receptionist, secretary or the kid running around grabbing coffee for them. This job will have you executing orders and tasks straight from the Founders and Upper Management. This role may sound menial, but it is extremely coveted as the tasks you may get can range from engaging with vendors to solving key product problems and developing new revenue channels alongside the founders. It can be a fantastic learning experience with a steep learning curve if you're working with the right set of founders. Working in this role would imply directly working under entrepreneurs who are visionaries and are the driving force of the company. Understandably, it will provide you with knowledge of the entire landscape of the startup ecosystem, the industry, markets, investors, and customers. The opportunity to pick the brains of a founder who is juggling it all on a daily basis cannot be measured on any scale. So if you're just starting out and possess a keen interest in learning about businesses, an interest that you exhibit via your social media, personal blog, past business experience, a founder's office role may be just the right fit for you. Do you need a certain background to work out of founder's office? Nope. It's one of the very few roles in a startup that is tailor-made for a driven beginner. If you make the most of this opportunity over time, demonstrating your understanding of the product market and uh, proving your resourcefulness with a getting the job done attitude, it will create the base for a truly inspiring career. Role number two, content and performance marketer. These two roles are extremely important and quite identical in their end purposes, drawn apart by just one fatal difference. Both of these are required to carry out duties of driving marketing campaigns from planning all the way to execution. Responsibilities include optimizing marketing activities and cost per acquisition to improve return on investment. Allocation of budgets for advertisements and promotion spends also comes right within this jurisdiction. These roles also heavily involve collaborating with the broader marketing team to perform A-B creative tests to identify what strategy campaign works best. A good chunk of these jobs is in fact research. Research of competitors and their strategies in order to find gaps in the industry that you can exploit. Research of the customer, their ever-changing likes and dislikes and behaviors. And of course, research of the entire ecosystem constantly looking for opportunities for market penetration and customer satisfaction. So what is that fatal difference that I talked about that separates content marketers from performance marketers? To put it vaguely, creative input. A content marketer also knows how to write good copy, design and product aesthetics along with the content research and ideation that is expected out of them. As a content marketer, you will still be researching your customers, building an understanding of your product, your competition, just like a performance marketer. But all of this with the added onus to improvise, edit, beautify the entire product package to get and maintain customers. A flair for words along with an understanding and instinct of customer needs is a good point to start as a content marketer. In simple terms, all the blogs that you read, social media posts that you consume, and videos such as this that you watch 
are produced by content marketers. On the other hand, performance marketers are the ones who run all the ads that you see on platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Google. Their task is to use these existing distribution channels and platforms to attain campaign objectives such as building brand awareness or you know, converting you into buying a particular product or service. They also are responsible for attaining these objectives by spending as less money as possible. Now, you do need a lot of these skills that content marketers have but these are the specific skills and tools that you need to be knowing before applying for a performance marketing position. You need to know analytics and database tools such as Excel, Google Analytics, or Tableau. And marketing and automation platforms such as HubSpot, Airtable, and MailChimp. Tools like Facebook Ad Manager, Ahrefs, SEMrush, Google AdSense also form a major part of what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Can you get into these roles as a fresher? Yes, provided you have demonstrated a thorough knowledge of these tools via certifications or real experience managing and growing a business via search engine optimization, Google Ads or its Facebook and Instagram equivalents. And finally, role number three, customer success manager. An infinite competition exists to capture existing and potential customers irrespective of the field of your business. Only your understanding of the customer and your passion to serve them better will separate your product from the rest. In today's economy of customer is the king, there is a dedicated job profile to ensure that this indeed is the case. Enter customer success manager. Especially in high-tech sectors, increasing proportions of sales are subscription-based, such as SaaS products or consumption-based, such as cloud services. In these types of businesses, recurring revenue matters more than one-time purchases. You need to build lifelong relationships with your customers so that they keep coming back to you instead of dropping your product for the competition. In such a market, the role of a customer success manager becomes critical and indispensable. As a customer success manager, your job is to step up to retain your customers and reduce churn, that is customers leaving, by keeping them happy. Here, you will be more of a consultant than a salesperson, where using your knowledge of the product and the customer's business you will help them use your product in the most effective way possible, ensuring their continuous positive experience. In short, your customer's success will define your success. This role bridges the gap between sales and support. As a customer services manager, you aren't there primarily to sell or to provide tech support. You are there to make sure that the customer feels happy about their purchase throughout the lifetime of the product. To help drive this recurring revenue, your primary focus in this role will go towards customer prioritization, retention, loyalty, satisfaction, and improving the overall experience. If you're someone who is empathetic and great with understanding the needs of businesses, this role may likely be the perfect fit for you. And the impact you will create with it will be easily evident in the company's customer retention and churn metrics. So what background or qualifications do you need for such a role? Often, uh, roles in support, service, or account management can lead to a position as a customer success manager. You can also get into it with two to three years of experience in communications, marketing, or sales. Although a technical and functional understanding of the product your company sells is definitely a massive advantage. These are the roles that more or less exist in every startup, and I hope this video helped you in gaining clarity around them and the skills and background you'd need to pursue the same. Building on this further to help you apply for a desired role in the most impactful way by way of demonstrating how you are the perfect fit for the role, I'll be discussing how to create proof of work for startups in the next video. Till then, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications and do share this video with your friends who are looking to get hired at startups. I'm Raj Kunkolinkar and thank you once again for watching this video. You can also check out amazing things happening over at Stoa School and our Stoa MBA program, India's best alternative to the traditional MBA that helps you get into business roles at high growth startups and companies. Links to our socials in the descriptions. See you in the next one. Ciao.